Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here at Tokyo Game Market in November 2015, going to give, be giving you an overview of Time Bomb 2. Okay, uh, obviously a sequel to Time Bomb, which I've already covered on the site and published in a new edition here. So Time Bomb 2 keeps the same idea of Time Bomb in that you each have a secret identity, which we'll show you here. You can be a terrorist or a member of the SWAT team. And what you're trying to do if you're the terrorist is find the proper building that has a bomb in it. Each person is dealt one building card and there's one building that's placed in the center of the table. You are trying to blow up the building that Okay, and if you do that, then you win. All right, terrorist, simple goal, set off the building that has the bomb inside. If you're a member of the SWAT team, then what you're trying to do is find your three hideouts from among the locations. And the game goes from four to six players, so the number of cards will vary depending on who is, how many people you have at the table. Each person also has a hand of four cards. And these cards will be dealt to you at random. You might have expert SWAT or SWAT or terrorist cards that have bomb times one or bomb times two. And what you're doing is on a turn you play a card from your hand onto any location on the table. Okay, and you can talk with other people, decide what you want to do and where you want to go. Once a location has four cards in it, you then reveal those, uh, you shuffle the cards up so you don't necessarily know who has played which cards. And you now reveal them to see what happens. If the building has only SWAT members in it, as in this case, then the building has been cleared and it's revealed. And it's a dummy. Oh, not a hideout. Okay. And those cards are thrown away. Or distributed back to the people who played them. <laughs> uh, I'm still learning the rules here. Okay. Okay, the transceiver just shows who is the start player for the round, and they're now going to dis decide what building to play on. So the SWAT team has to find three hideouts. The buildings are shuffled again, dealt out, and the game round repeats until either the SWAT w team wins or the terrorist wins. That is all.